how to create live star shapes in Photoshop 221. This is not for 220, two, this is a new feature of Photoshop, the live shapes. And the live feature is this feature here. Now I'm just gonna remove this star. Now along this top, slightly confusing because along top is when you create a shape, it uses these settings, well, just these settings. However, you can change the color using the along the top. So it's slightly confusing that if you change it here, it does so if I go and create it now, like this, 23. So it's got 23. If I change it to uh, four, let's say four, it doesn't change there. So that's somewhat slightly confusing. But if I now, oops, I'm gonna do that. If I remove this design now and then go and create another star and with the polygon tool, that's the key thing, polygon tool, I've got four there. You'll see it's created next time. So just have to remember these features are only when you're creating stuff. Anyway, now let's go, go from that. Just gonna set it, but I wanna first thing do is because you might go in with this polygon tool and you suddenly think, well, it's not star because you've got this setting. You've got star ratio is set at 100%. So if you do that, you've just got a standard square because it's four sides, standard square. To get a star, what you need to do is you need to go to this star ratio. And you can change it, say like 25%, or 15%, or 10%. And also you've got a few other settings as well. So then what you can do, you can add that. But again, this is a live shape. So live features means you can alter it interactively here. Sadly, you can't alter the number of points interactively. I'm not certain why that feature is not available be really, really nice. However, you can go over to Properties, and you can find that in Window and Properties. And then you can go over here, and you've got this little this option here. And you'll notice you've got this 25 down here. So you can change that. So you can alter it again, make it back to near enough like a square, or you can change that setting there. But you can also modify the number of points. So you can say that. Now it's not instantaneous, it does take a few seconds to appear, but you can now interactively change it. So it's quite useful for creating instant amazing stars, which you can alter at any point. So if I go and create another star, so again with the polygon tool selected there, and it's again shape, but this time I'm just gonna apply another design. So you'll see straight away, it's still using this along the top. That's the, however it uses this, so if I remove that and then change the color, but I can change the color there. So I can change the color of the current thing, but I can't change the settings there. So it's somewhat slightly confusing. This bit you can change, this bit, this is only for the creation. So you create another star there, and again, it uses that fill, and you can set the color. So you can change the color, and you can also change the color over here. So if you click there, you can maybe make it red or blue, etc. And again, what you can do, move that. You can also change the color stroke, maybe make it red, or you can make it a gradient, up to you. Then you can also change various other things, bits outside, inside, etc. So I'm just gonna, but also again, you can change this. So you can interactively change the star. Now what you can obviously also do, sadly, on this properties, there is no option for, which I would think should be on there, but isn't, and that's window and layers. So you go to layers, and if you want to change the blending mode, so you can say, make it linear or different, say, or overlay, you can change that or the opacity. Those settings are not visible along here or in here. Now, I would really hope that they would add that sort of feature. I don't understand why, because you've got transform, you've got appearance. Now to me, appearance, you've got just that just a little bit of extra, three dots, click there, and all you get is a smooth. Yeah. So it would be nice if the uh, blending and opacity was there, but it's not. You have to do that via layer. So you've got this design. Now again, as I said, it's interactive. So you can move it around and you can still, if you can see, and I'm just gonna decrease that a bit. You can see this. Now this is one trouble with this. If you go too far, you can't see that dot, the little dot to change the rounding. So if you go to this point, you can see now the rounding there. So you can change that. Once you've done that, you can also, of course, alter that. 
you can see that is also rounded. Also, you can do this as well, smooth star indents. So you can create a variety of different stars just using that again. Go back there to the polygon. And again, it will just default to your standard one, the initial default design. And again, you change that. And then you can increase the stars there and change these settings. Maybe make it like that. Whole range of different options. And also you can still do that as well, as well as smooth. So you can create a variety of different stars simply by changing the round in there, the radius, as well as the star ratio. Reduce it down a bit and also go over here. Now, there's also an option in the path. I'm not going to do that in this video, the Pathfinder. That's a completely different topic. But I just want to show you the properties here of modifying the live shape. So it's a really, really quick and easy way of creating all kinds of design. But also, you can go for maybe dotted as well if you want a dotted design. Reduce that down and so on and so on. There's a variety of different things you can do. And also, of course, you can use patterns as well. Like that. Also, now, of course, I'm using shape here for the star. I'm going to remove these now. So remove that one and that one. And again, polygon tool. And this is the key thing. Again, that's say is always remember star ratio. If you haven't got that setting set to something, you won't get a star. It needs to be not 100%. There's also other options here, symmetric. Fixed size, which you can just set so you can set a particular size for your star if you want to do that. I normally keep it unconstrained. Now, what you can also do, you can go up here to pass, so you can make a pass, and you can do exactly the same. So you've got your design there, and again, it just creates the using these default settings, but you can still go here and change this and change that value and change this value. So it's still a live design, and you can go back to it at any point. I'm just gonna don't want that. So just got the background there. Now, what I'm gonna do now is oh, I always go over to that one. For some weird reason, I always think that's a start. Polygon tool, there's the polygon tool. So polygon tool, you can of course move it, you can use this feature, just go down to there and you can edit the toolbar. So you can, if you want, you can put your polygon tool out from all of the others. If you want to do that, up to you. So you've got your polygon tool there, you can also use it as a pixels. So just so pixels, and then you can apply it. And it uses the current color, there's maybe for pink. So just apply it. And again, it still uses the default. Now, at this point, you can't change it here. So I'm going to remove properties. Don't need that anymore. Now, this is where this feature is obviously more useful when you're using the pixel mode. Obviously, with shape, it's slightly confusing. But with pixels, you just use these settings. So again, you can apply it like that. But of course, at this point, it's not live. It's just been flattened straight away as a pixel layer. So if you go over here, change the color, and then always remember just to change it there and change it here and then apply it like that and so on and so on. So that's the star shape in Photoshop 221. Great new way of modifying stars. Really, really useful. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, obviously 221, Illustrator, Creative Cloud in general, also Painter, Finity Photo, Finity Designer, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciate it. What sort of things I'm doing right? What other things would you like to know about the star shape? Please let me know. Also, a dislike or a like. Thank you much.